M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So, here we are on the G7 RPG Micro Hub Control Panel. So, in other words, the G7 RPG Micro Node, which we all use all the time on Hubnet. And as you can see, he's got a control panel. You just put your IP address into your phone, and you've got these lovely tiles here. And you can even click here for Supermon, and Supermon gives you control as well. When you log in, the username for Supermon will be if you've got a G7 RPG node admin then all star and you log in and you can actually type in different node numbers here and disconnect so what's this video about this video is about an app that you can buy for £4.99 I think it's worth it for a fiver because you can add it to as many devices as you like so let's have a look here so this is where you would install it on the Google Play Store I know I've got my my uh, camera hiding part of it but look you can see the different pages here um, where you can select different nodes, node tiles, you can add, you can directly add a node number and you can't see it in these photographs but you'll see in the video that when it's receiving it goes red, the same colour as the red LED on Peter's box and when you're TXing it goes green, now I know that's pretty much backwards but it means that the box is TXing to you so anyway it's, it stays the same colour as your as your box does so let's um have a little listen we'll turn it out there's a conversation going on now now i'm i'm going to just show you the settings that are in mine let's just get to the right page i got to remember where to go I wonder if it lets me in when there's TX. That's your direct contact where you would type in the node number and then connect. So this would be the, the screen. So at the top you're going to put in your node number which you'll also find on Supermon which is at the top here. 539011 for me. Then underneath the username and password for Supermon, which is admin and all star. This is on a G7 RPG node. It will be different if you've got a homemade node. Then the IP address, which you can search using an IP scanner. And don't forget, when you turn on the radio, it will call out the IP address anyway. So you just have a listen for that. Here's my IP scanner that I use. Let's log into that. If it lets me. No, it's not going to let me, but it doesn't matter because you get the point of that. Right, so then you sign in. Oh yeah, the, the 5038, I haven't changed that, but it says you can if needed. It's some sort of port number. And where are we? Let's just, right now, we, we'll hit disconnect to make sure we're not connected to anything. If you hit it once, then hit it again. It disconnects everything. And if we hit UK Hub, net. That will be that's M zero H O Y and G seven R P G node. Hit it. Interestingly, that's the audio from a different radio. If I turn up the both on. There you are sounding good now. Look at the look at the LED. So right now it's it's blue just means the computer in the micronode is working. Red means the micronode is transmitting to your radio. And the good thing about a micronode is you're gonna have perfect audio. And if I push the TX on my radio, it will go green. There's someone talking at the moment. And what we do, we disconnect, disconnect all, you can, it, you know, disconnect just one. We'll hit something that hopefully is quiet, East Coast Reflector, that's always good. But it's middle of the night over there. And you can see we've got their node number. 
it says how long we've been on it. Linked nodes. I don't think we. I'll just try and tap that. No, uh, but it says 153 linked nodes. No one's talking at the moment, so we'll put a call in now, and it should go green when I TX, and so will the G7 RPG box. Now you can use this app on any All Star node that has an IP address. So let's just give it a go. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, M Zero, FXB, calling for an audio check. So you can see, hit the box went green light. The node app went green at the top. So you get the idea. I don't think anyone's going to come back because uh, it's the middle of the night in the USA. Let's have a look what else we got here. Home button to exit. Like I said, we've got the settings menu there. Enable local, local parrot. I'm guessing that's a parrot test. So we hit it. See what it does. Maybe we have to disconnect. As, as you can see, I'm new to this. We'll disconnect everything. Then we'll just do the parrot thing. Parrot once, and then we'll just key M0 FXB, M0 FXB test. There you are. It lets you parrot once. What else we got on here? Enable linking, disable linking. Local tell on demand. Local tell disabled. Local tell. So what's that? We need to learn about that for definite. Test tone on off. So let's push that. Okay. Do uh disconnect that a minute. Yeah, so it literally just sends a tone out. So when I hit it and put test tone, it just goes into TX and tones. Enable linking, let's hit that. L N K E N A. So is that like a test that it links and and because it's not linked to anything, but it, is it the audio that we hear? Disable. Seems to be like a test of the message. Local tell on demand. Yeah, it looks like it's all the different things you hear. Let's hit that one. No, didn't do that one. So maybe you, it, it, I, maybe it means you can turn off all the notifications that you don't have to listen to them all. We've done parrot. Disable local parrot. Enable local parrot. Let's just quickly do one. M0FXB test. There you are. Can't see anything else. If we tap here, that's your manual dial. So if we go 41522, connect. That should connect. There you go. So it looks like we, when you do the settings, you can actually enable linking and disable linking. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? Local tell disable. So there's a few seconds here to learn, but the main thing that we're going to use it for is moving around the node, connecting and disconnecting around the node. So it's a four pound ninety nine app. It's nothing to do with you know. I'm not involved in it at all. I don't know who. The creator is um, whose name is Matthew P. Miller. But um, thanks, thanks very much, Matthew. More information on his site here, and we'll look at the the views, uh, you know, the reviews, which we can read through. All links in description. Link for the app. But the free one that looks very nice is G7RPG's one, which just put your IP address on your phone or or your. Um, computer it'd be nice if we could create a shortcut for that and then it's free i will look into that if i can create a little shortcut for that particular ip address i wonder if that's doable on a mobile phone possible eh? i think it sounds possible I'll, I'll, I'll speak to uh peter about it so seven three thanks for watching my video and catch you on air all the best and we'll just add to that that there is a m0 DQW uh, technical sheet here, which I'll put the link in the description. 
And on further investigation, I've realized that it's the it's Matthew Miller from Tech Minds who has a, a very good YouTube channel. Um, lots and lots of videos here, so it's possible that he may have covered a video there. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much Matthew, and catch you on air, 7-3, all the best, from Andreas, M0FXP.